Hi, Stephanie Ward. Um, I teach AP Biology. My room is D216 in case you have any questions. I've taught at Wakeland for nine years. This is my first year teaching AP Bio. Hi, I'm Sandra Sternitsky. I teach AP Chemistry and my room number is D206. I've been teaching at Wakeland for nine years and if you have any questions after we finish this video, be, um, we would be happy to answer them. So just come by and see us in our classrooms. I think one thing that you need to know um, is that these are college level classes and the rigor is there and the expectations are very, very high. It is a college level course. Yes, and students who are interested in AP Bio or AP Chem are usually the students who are interested in some kind of med school, uh, pharmacy school, veterinary, uh, nursing, any kind of medical field at all. These are courses that you need to take. Um, I often get asked, what should they take first? So they want to take them both because they know they want to be something in the medical field. Right. And in my opinion, I've had students be very successful taking AP Bio as junior year and AP Chemistry senior year, or vice versa. What do you think? I think I agree with you. I think if you are afraid you're going to forget your chemistry, you might want to do AP Chem your junior year. And but if you want a break from chemistry or you're afraid you're going to forget all your bio, then you might want to take AP Bio your junior year. I think it really depends upon your passion and your interests and you'll do well either way as long as you keep up with the coursework. The other question I always get is that what uh, students will ask, well, which one's harder? <laughs> the first one you take. Right. <laughs> the first one you take will be the hardest because AP science courses are not just one semester of college. There are two semesters of college with labs. So you can actually earn up to eight hours of college credit if you do well on the exam at the end of the year. And that all depends on your college and how you do in the course. Right, and your first AP course is always the hardest because you're getting used to the pace, um, the testing, the format and everything else. So whoever takes whatever first will think that's the hardest class. So. Yes, yes. Um, I do um, want to add that um, if you're interested in biomedical technology, another good teaming of courses is the AP Bio with the AP Chemistry. So I think I left that one out. Right. So, um, an engineering for you. Engineering. For AP Chem. So, certain engineering courses uh, will, or curriculum in colleges, will uh, require a, a chemistry, but I think the AP Physics calculus base would be probably the priority if you can only fit one into your schedule in right. high school. If you're interested in engineering, I think that's the more important. Um, as far as chemistry goes, the AP chemistry, it builds on your pre-AP chemistry and a lot of the information we go over again, but it's new information, it's brand new. Students come in and think they're going to learn the same things and just go into a little bit more depth, but it is very new, lots of new material, lots of very difficult material, and it requires a lot of time outside of outside of school. So at least an hour a day, mm -hmm. or if you like your A-B schedule and you only do a day's work on B day <laughs> night, then two hours every other day, but minimum five to six hours a week. Right. And the, and the reading is a high expectation. You have to read, you have to synthesize and apply everything. All right, come see us.